every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and the chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, Throwing the quaffles through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast-paced and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly as a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through the red goal post. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be undefended. Let's see if you can slip one past the keeper. does it for the chasers. I was hoping you would say that. Let's go chasers only for this first match.
This is the Weasley Twins, excited to show off our news. It's another spectacular day for Quidditch. The Quaffle's up. Goals look easy. Teammate. Great pass. And it's in. The shot. What a shot! Great work, Chaser. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. This match has been brought to you by the handsome blokes at the Weasley Burrow. Mind you, don't step on any gnomes on your way out. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game, so let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun! <laughs> Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chasers as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings.
As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi! Don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now let's take a look at your play calling from the chaser's point of view. Flying through auras will give you a speed and energy boost. Keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Brilliant. With this is the Weasley Twins, and welcome to the Borough! Mom thinks our house is as chaotic as a Quidditch pitch, so we thought we'd make it official. The Quaffle's up! The Quaffle flies past the keeper and goes through the hoop. He stole the Quaffle! There goes the chaser, scores a goal! Moving it downfield. There goes the shot. Nice save. What a great pass. What a great pass. The chaser lines up the shot. What, what a, a shot. shot. This match, like Mum's dream of us working in the Ministry, is over. Now that's done, let's see if we can get a word from our witness. Match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique. Starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George? <laughs>
Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team and toward theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you as a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters, beaters can, can do, do the same, same. often the devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. Alright, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still on fire. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit. Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. Now that you understand what a beater does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. What? Who let you lot in? Better put on a good match or we'll have you arrested for trespassing. Only joking, of course. Or are we? The quaffle's up! Chaser tie the game. The away team saves it. The ball was stolen. That chase is not made. 
playing around. We stole the quaffle! There goes the shot! The Weasley team saves it! Chase the fumbles! Quaffle is knocked loose. There goes the chase and scores a goal. There's the shot. It misses the hoop. The chaser lines up the shot and... Nothing's getting past these goalposts. Quaffle is in! This match, like Mom's dream of us working in the Ministry, is over! This is Ginny Weasley, signing off. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, you better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the Snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hand. Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to step up. Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide and seek with it later. The snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult, 
but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings. You know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now, so let's not hold back. This is the Weasley Twins, excited to show off our moves. Hello and welcome to another thrilling game of Quidditch. Waffles up. There goes the shot. Go! By the beater. Quaffle soars towards and the quaffle is in. Ginny's opponents are in for a rude awakening if they think this is the last they'll see of her. Great pass. Keep of blocks to go, without breaking a sweat. Always good to see a team passing the corporal around. The white team steals possession. Beat the, the Weasley team steals possession. But who will be the first to catch it? There goes the shot! What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper.
Yes. Keep moving it downfield. There's the shot. The seek. The corporal -cor flies past the keeper and goes through the hoops. The seeker's catching up to the snitch. Within reach. Don't lose focus now. But visitors still possession. We're halfway into a nail biting attack. The chase surpasses. for the snitch is over, but the war continues on. The quaffle is passed. See where the snitch went. Chase the fumbles. There goes the, sh the, the snitch, snitch is revealed. And it's a miss. There's the goal. The beater made short work of that player. Seeker is catching up to the snitch! There goes the shot! Give it your all! Don't worry, Chaser. That snitch is so close to being caught! What a great pass! The Chaser lines up the shot and... Keeper stops the quaffle! It's always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. Hurry! Only 30 seconds left! The home team steals possession! The snitch has been caught! Yeah, the salamander we lost in the house on the other hand. That's the end of the match! Now that's done. Let's see if we can get a word from our winners.
Now that was Quidditch. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. It's all so thrilling. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now, but given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential. At Hogwarts, there are few greater ways to bring honor to your house than playing on the Quidditch team. Against the likes of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Could you win the Hogwarts House Quidditch Cup? <laughs> Looks like the perfect weather to knock you Gryffindors off your brooms. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Today, Gryffindor and Slytherin face off in a battle of courage versus cunning. What tricks, sorry, tactics do Slytherin have up their sleeve? Madam Hooch releases the quaffle and the game begins! There goes the turn, the quaffle is in! tomorrow.
the first to catch it. The beta's target is down for the count. Pop to a teammate. Gryffindor steal possession. The chaser fumble. Gryffindor takes the shot. The chaser passes. A beater knocked a player down. Takes the shot! The keeper stops the quaffle! The snitch is within reach! Don't lose focus now! There's a quaffle pass! The game is halfway over and anything can happen still! What's the goal! The chaser passes. Wait a moment, is that? Ha! It is! The Seeker's caught the snitch! There's the shot! The chaser scores a goal! Robert Slytherin. No surprise there. Always a pleasure to share my enthusiasm for Quidditch with everyone here. This is Lee Jordan signing off. This year, it's not just about winning. It's about showing the true strength of Hufflepuff. Here's to turning the tide against Gryffindor. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Can Hufflepuff turn their losing record against Gryffindor around today? Or will Gryffindor draw even closer to the cup? Madam Hooch releases the quaffle, and the game begins! Possession. 
Lewandowski. Can the quaffle is in? Nothing's getting past that keeper. Gryffindor steal possession. That's a pass to a teammate. There's the and it soars through the goal. There goes the shot! Go! Gryffindor steal possession! Gryffindor takes the shot! Hufflepuff saves it! Showed a lot of hustle, but they just couldn't keep up with Gryffindor. This has been your host with the most, Lee Jordan, signing off after another incredible game of Quidditch.
Gryffindor, don't underestimate us just because the odds are against us. We thrive on challenge, just like the Tuts Hill Tornadoes. This is Lee Jordan, your favorite Quidditch commentator. Ravenclaw hope to turn their losing record against Gryffindor around today. To that I say, keep hoping, Ravenclaws. Players lurch into action, eager to be the first to score. Gryffindor takes the shot! Gryffindor steal possession! There's the sh- And it's in! The beater knocked a player down! Chaser passes. Ravenclaw takes the shot. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. There goes the snitch. There's the shot. The chaser scores. What a great pass! The chase of passes. Gryffindor tech and the quaffle is in! Target is down for the count. Almost there, Seeker. Keep it up. There goes the shot. But it misses the mark. Gryffindor steal possession. Passes the quaffle. Halfway in, can the other team turn the tide? Nice save! There goes the shot! It's a slippery little bugger, but the Seeker secures the catch nonetheless! Gryffindor steal possession. 
is the shot. No! Gryffindor win another one. Their nerve was too much for Ravenclaw to handle. Congratulations again to today's big winner. Me. <laughs> for scoring a date. You know who you are.